We've done some work on pivoting. Now we're going to do a little bit of work, a bit more about the fake and how to beat your opponent. So here I am. My opponent's directly behind me. I'm here, I've got the ball in my possession. How do I find some space and time to make the shot? Well, I've been using my pivot already, and now I'm going to introduce my fake. So I'm going to do a fake to the right. A fake, I've extended the ball. Ideally, that defender now should be reacting. If I've got him going across to his right, I can now come back, bring the good ball in, keep my knees bent as I pivot and spin around and go to my right. Hopefully, I've now created enough space and time with that motion to give me the time and space to come around and make the shot. So, I've done that off of the right hand side. Now, I do it off of the left hand side. So this time, I fake to my left, I spin back, pivot, and make the shot off my left. So ideally, you want to be able to fake to the right and go to the left, or fake to the left and go to the right. Top tip here is to keep the knees bent as you make that motion. Even in the fake, keep the knees bent. As you come back and turn around to make the step to make the shot, your knees are already bent, so you can now go straight up. Alternatively, if you do it incorrectly and you are straight up, you go straight legged and straight turn, you're already in an upright position. To make your shot, you need to come down to come up. And you may have lost your advantage in that time. So keep yourself nice and balanced. Keep yourself crouched. Practice the fakes. You can do two-handed fakes. I often do a one-handed fake because it's a wider range, but it's a bit more risky. So if I'm gonna go fake to my left, I'm gonna fake out here. And then come back around to here. Again, off the other side, a single hand fake. I'm faking a foot fake, ball fake, head fake, or body fake. But back around to make the shot. Practice, repeat, gain the ability to do it at pace. Good stuff. Oh, no,